too many gang bangers out. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you want. While I'm while I'm in uniform. Hey, say what it do, YouTube, it's your boy, Carter. I am back with another YouTube video, and as you can see by that title, man, today we are doing another UPS delivery. We got some places to go to today. They've been firing a lot of people that have been working at UPS, specifically the drivers, because, you know what I'm saying, they don't got no money to pay us. Just finished getting gas in my Koenigsegg. I just got this Koenigsegg, as you can see right here, looking beautiful, looking amazing. And today, we got a few items to deliver. It's crazy, because... When I got the address from my my boss, he had told me like, yo bro, this is delivery, this is delivery, this is delivery. And I'm like, wait a minute. He said, this is delivery, this is delivery, this is delivery. I said, wait a minute, isn't that auntie's house? So today, as you can see, we are going to auntie's house. Bro. We are going to deliver some furniture to auntie's house. This is gonna be a crazy day. We are going back to the hood in the UPS truck. As you can see, last time I didn't have a proper uniform on, but as you can see this time, I got brown collar shirt, black khakis, and you know I always gotta stay masked up, you feel me? That's just mandatory. All right, so first delivery spot is right over here at my crib. Um, I gotta deliver something to my house. So let's get that done real quick. They've been laying off a lot of people from UPS lately, if y'all did not know. So I'm just grateful to still have my job, even after me not coming in proper uniform and me doing a late night shift that I did. Um, I'm happy. I'm just happy to have my job still. So we are going to go deliver to the first location. And we're just delivering some couches to my crib. And then we're going to go to Auntie's spot. And then we got to deliver in the hood, bro. So that's going to be interesting, bro. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Smash that like button. And let's get straight into it. Let's get back to work, bro. Let's go to work episode, man. I love these let's go to work episodes. If you like these let's go to work episodes, comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. But enough of the chit chat. We got some stuff to deliver, bro. So this is this is crazy because this crib, I never really go inside. you probably never seen the inside of this crib. I have that crib right there and I own this crib as well. Let's get these packages out the back. Let's go inside with these packages. All right, y'all, as you can see, I had to deliver these big plants right here. So I got one big plant right here, and then I got another big plant right here behind this little couch that I got in my room. Um, it's a nice view from the city, as you can see. It's a nice crib. I like this crib a lot. I just don't come in here a lot. But those are the two items I had to get delivered. So I had to make sure we get that done before we head back over there to the hood because this is the only delivery spot that is in you know what i'm saying the upscale neighborhood now we're going straight to auntie crib we got to deliver a bed over there um a bed frame a mattress a new couch for her and a refrigerator all that is going to be put into her backyard because she's going to have people install that because you know what i'm saying i did pay for that uh as y'all may know i got multiple different incomes and this is just one of them things that I, it just keeps me humble it keeps me grounded when it comes to you know doing these types of jobs that i do referring to you know working a regular nine to five you know of course y'all know i'm a billionaire uh but the billionaires get bored you know what i mean and this keeps me sane it keeps me humble and it keeps me elevated and it keeps me having things to do throughout my days you know i pick up what i want to pick up i don't always do you know consistent work but with me being an upstanding citizen having a regular job just feels feels good it feels good it gives me something to do so you know let's head on over to drop these items off at auntie crib and see what the day takes us and then we got to deliver last last and um not least because you know i did have a very very crazy past um i got ops out there but you know hopefully with the years going by that these people don't feel the need to want to endanger me or take my life still so let's back in So 
So what she did was she did let me know to just put everything in the garage and then um, the guys are gonna take it out the garage and put it inside the home because she is not home at the moment. So let's take this out the back. Let's go inside of here. And after a long unloading session, we have finally put everything that we needed to put into her garage. And now we're heading to the hood, man. Oh God, let's see how this goes. I got one stop in the hood and that's it, bro. And we can get up out of here, bro. We don't want no problems with none of these dudes, bro. We left that life in the past. We are no longer gang bangers, you know what I'm saying? We live an upstanding citizen lifestyle and we not try to, you know what I mean, provoke anybody, but I am here to do a job. Hopefully they can't see me because, you know, of course I'm in UPS delivery truck and, you know, I'm not here on no gang violence. Okay, it doesn't seem to be too many gang bangers out. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you want. While I'm while I'm in uniform. Oh, they sending pictures to their homies. All right, all right. I got something for y'all niggas, bro. Say less. Let me go do. Let me go do this delivery real quick. All right. Copy. All right. Straight up. That's what niggas on. All right. Cool, bro. Cool, bro. Let me do my delivery, bro. Cool, all right. Y'all heard that, right? Do my delivery, bro. I just did my delivery, bro. That's what they on? That's what they on? All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and deliver this truck. What I'm deciding to do is I'm gonna keep this van in the cut. I'm gonna keep this van in the cut, and y'all just gonna have to stay tuned for the next video, bro. But we got something in store, bro. We got something in store for their ass. That's what they wanna be on. Say less. Say less. Make sure I smash that like button, and I'll see y'all in the next one.